Hello and welcome. Elizabeth Holmes, the founder of failed biotech startup Theranos, is facing criminal trial in a federal court in California on the charges of defrauding investors and patients. This is a great fall from grace for Elizabeth Holmes, who in 2015 was listed as the world's youngest self-made woman billionaire by Forbes magazine. Forbes and Fortune both had put her on their covers. Another business magazine described her as the next Steve Jobs. She gave a TED talk and spoke on panels with Bill Clinton and Jack Ma. Hailed as a genius, Elizabeth Holmes dropped out of Stanford University at 19 years old to start her company Theranos. After operating largely in secret for a decade, Theranos in 2013 began claiming a technology to revolutionize the blood testing industry. The company claimed that its Edison test could detect multiple health conditions like cancer and diabetes quickly with only a few drops of blood extracted from a fingerprint, eliminating the need for large needles and vials of blood. Edison machine was touted as the future of lab testing technology, a machine which would save money for patients and provide early diagnosis for over 200 conditions at locations as convenient as grocery stores and pharmacies. Elizabeth Holmes and Theranos started getting lot of investment. Theranos became the most desirable unicorn startup. Big investors from Henry Kissinger to Rupert Murdoch invested in the company. Soon the valuation of the company grew to more than 9 billion US dollars and Elizabeth Holmes became the youngest self-made female billionaire. Elizabeth Holmes was known for her fascination with the founder of Apple, Steve Jobs. She mimicked Steve Jobs in many ways, including wearing the same signature turtleneck and referring to her Edison machine as the iPod of healthcare. However, a Wall Street Journal investigation in 2015 poked holes into Theranos's testing and technology. The investigation revealed that the company was a fake its technology was faulty and that Theranos in fact conducted all its tests using the machines made by its competitors the shortcomings and inaccuracies of Theranos's technology were exposed along with the role Holmes played in covering it all up Theranos and Holmes were charged with massive fraud After this exposed by the Wall Street Journal multiple lawsuits were filed against Elizabeth Holmes In 2016, US regulators banned Theranos from operating a blood testing service and in 2018 the company was dissolved. Elizabeth Holmes trial was postponed several times including in July this year when she revealed she was pregnant. And in the latest twist, her defense lawyers have accused her ex-boyfriend and business partner Ramesh Balwani as the main culprit and decision maker by emotionally controlling her at that time. Both Elizabeth Holmes and Ramesh Balwani are being charged with multiple counts of defrauding investors and a separate charge of defrauding doctors and patients. If proven guilty, the two faces up to 20 years in jail and nearly 3 million US dollars in fines. The Silicon Valley is looking at Elizabeth Holmes episode as an example of greater emphasis on scrutiny and transparency.